G'day guys, welcome back to Awesome Epic Adventures. You're here again with Andy and Bree. Hey guys. So it is freezing out here today guys, it's at least two degrees. Um, but this is what we do, bring you guys some awesome adventures. A couple of heads. Yeah, <laughs> neither can I, we're kind of turning blue. Um, we've brought you today to this cool place known as the Blast Furnace out in the Blithgow region of New South Wales. Um, it was this big old furnace that used to power and run part of the city and and then it exploded and these are pretty much the remains so they've built this cool parkland park land, walk path section all around it and we're going to go check it out and show you guys this cool blast furnace so, <laughs> that's it guys come get cold with us here we go <laughs> it is cold all right guys let's do this let's go on this adventure through the blast furnace been a massive building back in the day. You go first. <laughs> There's ruins everywhere. I gotta check this site out. God, I can't believe the cold makes your vision go blurry. <laughs> It'll oh, make no. your eyes water. Where's the stairs gone? <laughs> Here, here's down this rickety old stairway. If you get up, no problem, but get down. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my toes, which is making this harder. I need to invest some winter boots. <laughs> we do. We need some good hiking boots. A hot <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at the entrance to this, it is really tall, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. This was a full on gas works at one place. Sorry about the wind too guys, if it's a bit muffled, it's very windy out here today. <laughs> got the old stairway underneath and the council's built this cool walk path all the way across it. Davy engine house. So this big wheel thing must have been there. I think. Well, yeah, because that would have been the big trench in the middle there. Yeah. We are on the opposite side now. layers of brick. You kind of look at it. Or whether it's just discoloured. I don't know if that's just discoloured from where it was burnt or the fire. Or if it is just different bricks. Give you guys a clip on these signs over here. If you guys want to read up about the place. So you guys, we're going to make our way down in under those tunnels underneath here. Hopefully. Hopefully. Over here, see it was the 
Durante Generator House. Right. <laughs> you warm yet? Uh, totally. Yeah. Oh, that wind's picking up. It's getting so much colder. The cooling pond for the water. So make our way around the outside. Let's see if we can get in underneath this place. Down under here. <laughs> Take the archway. <laughs> hmm. That sucks. I thought that was a full tunnel, but. It's not. Right. Well, that's a shame. I thought it was a cool tunnel here I was going to be able to go through. I could see from up top, but it kind of just ends here. <laughs> Still, look at the moss growing on that. Should have brought me torch with us, but I'm not sure if you can see anything up there. I don't have a torch, so it's probably nothing. It's Tim over there. Boo! Boo! <laughs> I made it! You made it, Daddy. Yeah, it's, it's, it ends here. I thought it was a cool tunnel, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's still cool. Yeah, it's cool. Just don't go anywhere. It's in there. This, this is real safe, guys. I wouldn't recommend walking on broken rubble like this. Okay, some sort of weird tunnel. It's really hard to climb on things in freezing cold conditions. Everything stings. <laughs> oh, there's a dead end. That's what I could see from the other side. Yeah, that, that's safe, isn't it? There's stairs down there. Yes. 
Okay, so we've walked our way across through over there, out that way. Let's wander around this outside over here and see what we can find. Some more abandoned structures over there, ruined structures, I could say, not abandoned. warm yet <laughs> so guys we're both out here freezing our asses off so we need to we, you need to uh, but, uh, they need to smash the like button that's what they need to do you need to smash the like button subscribe to our page and follow us down this tunnel up here what's this thing I don't know that's cool Careful. <laughs> yeah, you got a duck. Lucky. I should have brought the bloody camera torch. Can you bring the backpack to have it in there? No. And oh. I really and I really should have. Seems this helps. This is only a short tunnel. You can see that sort of just goes through to there. Better. Let me see up there. So he's going up the creepy dog of us. Are you gonna go? Alright. Well, I'm gonna well hold the phone. <coughs> yeah, it's ducked. Yeah, it is really narrow. <coughs> Good. Yeah. Okay, I'm like standing here. I can stand up. Oh wow! Ooh, spider webs. Well, that's a big pipe. I could. Should so come back here, the Ouija board. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, oh it's a mattress. I don't really think we can get out the other side. Just wait there for a sec. Yeah, it's all kind of. It's too narrow for us to get through. You see this is me squashed up in here now. I can't fit through that gap. Uh, I'm trapped. Help! <laughs> oh. We're gonna have to go back that way. Your head come forward more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, take your touch. Guess I'll go first. Yeah, you get first. Oh, 
Make sure you watch your head. <laughs> yep. Ow, bless. Don't oh. put your hands on the ground. Shit, careful. You alright? So, they can't go that way. Okay. That's your top. Slippery floor. <laughs> oh, and it's all just, it's all kind of caved in. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. I need to get to where you are. <laughs> oh, oh, snakes. Funny, I was saying that there's snakes. I'm worried about what's in that top hole in there. I was looking at that. I can't tell if it smells because I can't smell. <laughs> Plastic top, I don't think there's anything in it. Oh. Where's it going in? Huh? Just watch it's very loose, uneven ground. Yep. Snakes are probably under here. Probably loving us right now. Jump over this spot. And we're outside again. Oh, that's above you. Trying to torch up. Oh, it's like a manhole. Yeah. Push it torch if you want. Yeah, just don't stand up. Careful. Don't walk backwards. You good? I'm pretty much standing up. Okay. Oh, well, we made it fine. out. And yeah, people must camp out or homeless people live here. And they say. Well, this thing looks like it's off a spaceship or something. <laughs> right, so we pretty much just took a shortcut instead of walking around the path we just cut through the tunnel the big caps off the gas tanks or something. So this storing raw materials. Uh, so this must be where they dug a lot of the stuff out and So it wasn't it actually made iron here. It's a massive yeah. It's iron works. They make iron. There's lots of these planchets around, so guys if you wanted to stop and freeze any of these and have a bit of a read, learn a bit more of the history on this place.
I'm starting to lose sunlight guys, it's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon now, it is getting really cold, we're going to start wrapping this up soon eh, it's getting a bit cold don't you think? I'm not tall enough but you may be able to get up in there. Oh yeah, it's another bit of a tunnel Just thing up there. What's this part of the building? Truck drop pit. Pretty much like the edge of the property. So, guys, some cool tunnels and whatnot up in there. We're gonna make our way back around where we just were, go back up on top, and see if we can find a way in. Stay with us. So, we're making our way back up. This is where we did our intro, guys. It started Out. Some of these old steel. Wow. I'm good. Shit. Up close. Oh, good thing that's a big fall, but still. Oh. Right here. Oh my god. I wouldn't expect this. Whoa. Oh, look at the ladder. Look full on chambers down here. Okay, so this tunnel just leads around here. Someone else has got a mattress there. And you can see at the end it's kind of sealed up like how it was at the other side. So, can't really get out that way. I'm gonna have to go back this way and see what's over here. <laughs> got your guess this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that gap that you saw from the outside. Oh. Right, and this is the, the well thing that we're looking down at from up top. Oh. Right. There you go. I'm in a well. Get me out. I 
think we're almost at the end up here. We got another little corridor there. Leads out to nowhere. Uh, oh man, if I was a little kid, I'd hang out here all the time. Yep. Pick a boop. In the hole. There you can see outside. Do we were before. Well, that made today's cold adventure worth it. It's a bit warmer. Cool right little here. tunnel. Yeah, it is warmer. No wind. <laughs> no. You good? I'm good. <laughs> back out again so that was a cool little underground tunnels underneath the blast furnace there wasn't expecting that I didn't even know that was there so that was a pretty neat find this old building over here very sound Okay. A little bunker. Yeah. How narrow this is. A little <laughs> tiny bunker. Walk up the bunker we get. Right yeah. <laughs> this would have there would have been some machine of some sort connected to this going through it all. This, I don't know what it, uh, Well, it was on a massive block of land this place you can see everything that used to be part of it all the way around then you can see where the council have gone and built a car park all through it and made it a public park which is really neat. They preserve history like that. Bree's attempt down the collapsing staircase. This must have been like a furnace of some sort. They probably like melted, had this heated up and like melted all the metal or something. It needs to run all down here. Huh? But we're alive. Not yeah, we survived. So, I've already been over this side and wandered all around here. Like we're in the tunnels over there, there's another underground section over here somewhere that we're going to try and find access to. And before it gets too much colder and we literally freeze to death. I'm <laughs> feeling it all my body parts, what's wobble around? Part of a little chamber under there. Pipes running through. Can't really get through that way. Find 
Maybe this side? No. That's all solid. <laughs> Hi. That's where I walked down underneath before, so I know we can't get in that way. <sighs> What'd you find? <laughs> Get the camera. Doesn't look like it goes very far. Squat. <laughs> There's lots of glass down here. Good meal. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> To a random big pit in the ground. Trying to figure out how to get in from over there, but there was like a hole in the ground and all of this. Watch your head, Dad. Watch it. I thought I was past it. I passed it. You passed it. Well, that was, in the, that was a very short little tunnel. Crab walk through that. Okay. Alright, there's just like another pit down there. There's another mattress on the ground. Light shining through this when we're looking up at the other side. Kind of just big trenches. We used to be filled with water back in the day. Mattress that we just saw from the other side. I don't know if it's a mattress or just a big piece of timber. That's where we were before. No. Because we came through that little archway thing over there. Then I was checking out over there. Well, I, d I dare say we've explored pretty much all of there, eh? I think for safety reasons we should try and go down that big hole. Yeah, yeah, some of those ones we might. Probably shouldn't go down some of those bigger holes while we'll end up getting stuck and then call the fire brigade and yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't be fun. It's too cold for that crap. Yeah. So to quickly get a shot of those few signs over here as we're leaving. A little bit more history over here guys just before we finish up today's video. So, if you 
guys wanted to freeze frame read through some of this in the beginning. I would read through this guys but it's way too cold out here. I just want to give you guys a few cool photos and a bit of info on how it used to be here. Bit of a history there all over the mountains. And then, what's it got here? World War One. Depression and World War One and the Battle of Influenza through in 1919 that hit Lithgow ceased production of this place. Steelworks finally closed in 1932. There you have it. Alright guys, well that was the last bonus. Thanks for joining us on today's awesome epic adventure. We hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the page, also follow us on Instagram. Bree's gonna upload some cool shots and photos to Instagram, so you can go and check all that out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As I said, hope you enjoyed it.